Assalamualaikum, good day everyone. So today we are going to discuss the 15.5, the formations of twins and the 15.6, the health issue that related to the human reproductive system. Okay, for the 15.5 about the formations of twins, twins can be defined two or more children will be born from one pregnancy. So these types of twins divided into two. The first one is identical twins. Okay, and second one is the fraternal twins. In Malay, we call the identical twins is kembar seiras. Meanwhile, the fraternal twins is kembar tidak seiras. Okay, now here let me study the figure. Here, the identical twins is formed from one sperm. Okay, and then it will fertilize with one ovum. So then it will form the embryo, and this embryo will split into two. And it will develop to form two fetus, and they have one share placenta. Meanwhile, for the fraternal twin, all right, it comes from two different sperms and two ova. So after the fertilization, they will form two separate embryos, and then these two embryos will form two different fetus and have separate placentas. So you can see here, this is the first placenta, and this is the second placenta. All right. Here are the differences between identical twins and the fraternal twins. For the identical twins, one zygote will be formed when one of them fertilize with one sperms. Okay, and then it will form the embryo and divide into two. These two fetus will share one placenta. So the genetic materials, the physical appearances, alright, with uh within these two fetus are same, right? Because uh, they come from the same zygote, and same goes to their gender or the sex, which is the both twins have the same sex or gender. Meanwhile, for the fraternal twin, okay. The two zygote is formed when two sperms fertilize with the two ova, and the embryo do not divide it into two, right? Then so each fetus has their own placenta. For the genetic materials and the physical appearance, both twins have difference, okay? Since they are uh, they come from the different zygote, and their sex or gender might be different or same means both twins can be girl both twins can be boys or it can it can be either one is a boy another one is might be girl this one is the developments of the conjoint twins or we call it as a siamese twins it actually comes from the identical twin but unfortunately the divisions of cells incomplete during the stages of embryo. So, these fetus share one or two internal organ, or they share some of their physical parts or organ, such as at the abdomen, at the chest, or buttock. So, the difficulties that might be faced for the conjoined twins are they must be always be together. So, no privacy time, okay? They do not have their any time alone. The movements are quite limited. And also, they may be died before they are born or have the short lifespan. So, as the treatment to overcome this problem, okay, it can be separated to surgery, but then depends on the joint parts and what the internal organ are shared between them. Now, let me discuss about the 15.6, the health issues that related to the human reproductive system. Impotency ataupun dalam bahasa Melayu, we call it as the kemandungan. Okay, occur when a husband and wife are unable to conceive, means they cannot get a children. So, this might be happen either caused by the husband or wife or it can be both. From husband and wife, so the causes that involve in the of the main impotency, it might be caused by the testes cannot produce sperms, low quality sperms, 
or the abnormal sperms. They have the hormone imbalance, erectile dysfunctions, and also it might be caused by the low sperm count. And these are the causes of the female impotency. The first one is the ovary do not produce the secondary oocyte. Okay, a second one it can might it can be caused by the abnormal uterus, and then it also can caused by the hormonal imbalance, block fallopian tubes, or the growth in the uterus such as have the cyst or the fibroid. Then, this is the treatment for the impotency. To overcome the hormone imbalance, it can be treated by the hormonal therapy. For the block fallopian tubes or block sperm duct, it can be treated via surgery. For the human, uh, woman, which is have the block fallopian tubes, it can overcome this problem via the IVF, the in vitro fertilization, which is the egg production is stimulated by the hormone therapy, and then the secondary oocyte or eggs is retrieved from the ovary, and the sample from sperm is provided here, and the fertilization will be occur at the outside of the woman's body, and after the fertilization, the eggs will be introduced into the uterus. So this is the one method to help uh, the marriage couple to have children. Okay then, with that, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again and please prepare for the next subtopic, the 15.7 about the growth in humans and animals. See you again.